Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh, it is early in the morning, but I'm going to get this done because I have a lot of stuff to do today. <laughs> uh, last week, week before, a bunch of us met up in California. And I had never been to California and I'd never really dipped my toes into the ocean before. And uh, April was nice enough to take us not once, but twice. And it was a great time, and I came back feeling super inspired. You know, we did some eating at wonderful restaurants and shopping, of course. Uh, but we also, you know, just got a chance to hang out and relax, get to know each other better, and talk about the things that we love, which is paper and art. And I got back just, like, super inspired, so... If you have a chance to do something like that, go for it, because I'm super excited to do that again. So, this is what I came home and made, and it is one of my faves because this cool um, vintage doily here that wraps around, I got that down in California at a thrift stop, thrift stop, thrift shop. <laughs> Um, it's gorgeous. And as soon as I got it, I said, I am making a journal out of that. And, uh, so I added these little pearls here, half backs. And this is not glued except for right up here at the top because it kept flopping. Um, and then this I got from Shayna in a little scrap bag that she sent me. It's really cool looking. Gorgeous. And this is very cool. My hubby, you know, he likes to thrift and such too. And there's a little local thrift here in town. We just, we live in a very small town, but there's a little local thrift. And of course the lady that runs it knows us by name and especially knows my hubby because he always gets the good deals. When there is something that she doesn't think she can use or sell, she'll wait till he comes in and say, hey, I got this for you. So one of the things that she said he could just have because she didn't think it was going to sell or worth anything was an old theater seat. I'm guessing from the 1930s or 40s. He wanted it because there's lots of metal on the legs and he's going to make me a little stand for all my uh, journals. Uh, really neat metal. But the seat itself was made out of this, like, fake leather. And you can see it was kind of tore up. It's backed with, I don't know, some kind of muslin or felt or something. It's not real leather, but it feels so cool, and it's got so much character. So I cleaned it really well, the best I could. And um, then I sealed it. And that is, I think I just hit the camera, sorry. That is the cover here. So I wish you could feel it, it feels really cool. But yeah, that's what that is. So you're getting an antique theater seat cover here. Uh, and then this is just stuff that I had in my stash. I did a little collaging, picked these butterflies up down in California, uh, did some stamping and embossing here. I don't know if you can see that really well. Um, but anyway, this is my new journal and it's um, uh, beautiful butterflies. And I used the kit from Artie Mays, which is Butterfly Madness, I believe is what she called it. Gorgeous kit. I've had it forever. Look at that. And it's really pretty muted colors and it's got some French on there. So I went with the French theme. Uh, butterfly in French is Papillon. So you'll see that every once in a while. So we have four signatures. We'll just dive in here. I left all the strings. Of course, those can be cut off. This is, you'll probably recognize this. Packaging 
And I just used some scraps and made a nice pretty tag there. Some stamping. This is uh, an old print that I got from that thrift shop. And I turned it into a little pocket with a graphic 45 um, floral shop card that I got down in California. And these are just some of, this is an image from the kit. These are some of the tags. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is an old uh, music page that I got from April and you can still see, I decoupaged a napkin on it, but you can still kind of see the writing. This lady did some neat writing on this. So I decoupaged it, stamped it a little bit. And this is from the kit and I just backed it with this really pretty uh, rose colored paper so that you can write or photos, whatever. This is from a nature book and I just scuffed it up a little bit, but it's really pretty. Do some collaging here. I've had this little tag forever and ever. This is really like a huge junk, junky type journal because I used um, tons of my scraps, uh, scrap paper that I had. I made tags out of a bunch of scraps, <laughs> scrap. Uh, I had one piece of this left and I said, I'm using it. I'm getting it out of my stash. Uh, scraps of lace, scraps of fabric. So scraps of cardstock. There's a sticker. There's a little flip here. This is, I got some perfect pearls down in California too, so I couldn't wait to play with those. That's what that is. This is a little mini journal here. And again, I uh, used the rest of that napkin to decoupage onto that. And in this kit, she gives you uh, backing as well. This is just some scraps that I had here so that you have a front and a back for her designs if you want. I mounted some of them on different paper myself. That I just put on with a pin. I tried putting some lace on there, but it just did not look right. So, And here we have, this is an envelope. And when I printed these, I printed them on thinner paper, not realizing at the time. So I kind of craft stole this idea and I back them onto book page. And then that's just a journal card that I had. Again, I'm trying to use up all my stuff. And when you open this up, that flips open. And then this is a car or a tag that I made from um, Prima paper. And that's what that is. It's not too frilly. It's feminine, but it's not too frilly. Lots of places to write. There's the definition of unique. And there we have Jolie Papillon, which is French for pretty butterflies. This is another envelope from the kit with just a little journal card in there. And Shana gave me a bunch of cutouts, which went perfectly in here. There's just some more cards and tags. Here's another envelope, and again, I backed it onto paper. <laughs> And there's a nice little journal card in there. Really pretty images of butterflies in here. There's some embossing. Another graphic 45 tag. And I did a little bit of stabbing on some of these tags. This is a really cool page. This is a... Oh, what is it? Uh, seven Gypsies, an architecture piece, and oh, I wish you could feel it. It feels so awesome. And then I uh, made a pocket out of some scrap Prima paper, scrap ribbon, and I had this really pretty butterfly, and this was on my Instagram. I'm, I'm trying to get better at posting on Instagram. Um, it was like a baby blue, 
it was sort of, let me show you here, it was sort of like this color. And that just wouldn't do, of course. So I dabbled some old paint on it, which made it turn into uh, like a patina color. And then I put um, uh, wax over it. Backed it onto a metal piece. And here's just another scrap. And again, I don't like to waste scraps, so that can be a little tuck there if you'd like. And this is some more packaging. And I just took little pieces and scraps and decoupage that on here too because there's some butterfly images there. There's another card. Look at that pretty paper. Love it. This paper is from Janine at Lipstick Legion. She had sent me something and she wrapped it in this paper and it's really pretty. And so I made a little tag out of it. And I just used pieces and parts here to make this belly band. And this is a trashy card that I made or tag, whatever. <laughs> just using little pieces, parts, stamps, whatever I had handy. And this page, this is the middle of the third signature. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I didn't really want to cover them up, but it still needed something, so I made these uh, little cards here that you can write on, photo, mount, whatever. But on the back, there's also a couple of little pockets from the kit, and I just put a little bit of writing paper in those. So that is what these are. I think this page is just so pretty. I love this kit. I've had it for a long time and I just was never inspired enough to use it until now. There's a belly band I made out of scraps and that's a Tsunami Rose there. And just a little card I have. There's the, I embossed on that paper from Janine. There's some more of that. I had some scrap, really pretty lace here with some sequins on it. This is a calendar page, and it was you know really bright and colorful. Didn't quite match the tone of the book, so I lightly gessoed over it, and then I watercolored uh, green over it, a light green. And then there's just a couple of cards there. There's another scrap of Prima paper. Always use your scraps. And there's just a scrap page with some embossing here. And here is the other side of that Prima paper that I made another tag out of. And just a little tag I had a mustache. Isn't that pretty? So pretty, and it went really well with this scrap of sorry silk that I had, so that worked out well. There's a little card here. Here's some more watercolor that I was just playing with. There's a little Hermelinda writing tag in here. A little butterfly. These are really cute. Uh, this was, again, a uh, desk calendar page, so I just sewed over it, gave it a little bit of shimmer, sewed on some scrap lace, so you have some writing space here. There's just some tags here. Played with my embossing powders, because once you start embossing, oh my gosh, you just want to emboss everything. I know I do. Really pretty, and then this, I really like this. I had one sheet of pink vellum, and you can still see the pretty paper through the pink vellum, which I thought was really nice. Made a couple of tags with some scraps, and these car, this I've had in my stash forever. And there's just another tag from the kit here. Same thing over here, you can see through uh, pink vellum and then that's a tag from the kit and this is from Tsunami Rose 
And these are Tim Holtz dies that I've had forever and ever. A lot of the paper has writing, or uh, yeah, writing space on it for you as well. So, stamped out très joli, very pretty. Lots of space to write in this one. There's the other side of that calendar, desk calendar page. And there's the other side of the watercolor page that I was just playing around with. <laughs> Scrap paper there. Coffee dyed. A uh, huge Rolodex card here. Another Tsunami Rose card here that I've had forever. And there's the end. Isn't it gorgeous? I really, really like it. I'll give you the side view here really quick. This is going to be in my Etsy shop, so make sure you check that out. And yes, it started yesterday and it'll go till Friday. I'm having a 15% off sale in my Etsy shop. So if you're looking to save a few bucks, go check it out. All right, thanks for hanging around here with me. It's been a few minutes, so I will let you guys go. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.